Hey everyone, so this is going to be a test to see how long it takes to fully charge the Xperia Z5 Premium using a quick charge 2.0 cable. So we'll go ahead and get started here. And this should be at 0 or 1%, we'll just check to make sure. All right, yep, 1%, and I'll check in first in 15 minutes. All right, so we're at the 15-minute mark here, and the Z5 Premium is at 18%, so I'll check in again at the 30-minute mark. All right, so we're coming up on the 30-minute mark here. And 37%, next time I'll check in, we'll be at the one-hour mark. All right, so we are now approaching the one hour mark here. And the Z5 Premium is at 73%. So I'll check in again in 30 minutes. All right, so we're closing on the hour and a half mark right now. And the Z5 Premium is at 95%. So I'll keep checking in until it reaches 100%. All right, so this reached 100% here at an hour 50 minutes. Now what's interesting about this is when I did the same test with the Z5 and Z5 Compact, uh, this the Z5 Premium actually performed the best out of all three. So when I ran this test with the Z5 Compact and Z5, the Z5 Compact took one hour 51 minutes to fully charge and the Z5 took an hour 58 minutes. Uh, but what's interesting is that the Z5 Compact has a 2700 capacity battery, the Z5 has a 2900 capacity, and the Z5 Premium has a 3430 capacity battery. So I was actually expecting this to take over two hours. I'm not sure if the reason that it was uh, took about the same slightly shorter than the other two despite having a larger battery is because of something that Sony's done with the battery or if it has to do with the quick charge cable I'm using. So with this I'm using, with the Z5 Premium, I'm just using what Sony had supplied in the box for the Z5 Premium. Now, not all of the Z5 Premiums have this cable. Uh, to my knowledge, some of them have a standard cable, but the one I have does have the quick charge cable. This is a look at it here. Uh, the lightning symbol on here is the giveaway for it. But yeah, this is the cable that I use for it. Uh, with the Z5 and Z5 Premium, use an Aki cable, but after doing this test, I think that I'll redo those and use the official Sony cable. So everyone, thanks for watching. Hopefully you all found this video helpful. And if you have any video requests, please let it know in the comment section below.